Hey guys, so today my video is about my favorite hair products and these are all hair products that I feel like I use almost every day, if not every day. And I've been using a lot of them for a really long time. Some of them like over a year or two or even three and I feel like these are just things that I can't live without. So to get started, uh, this is the shampoo that I use every day. This is Gum Blonde by Bedhead, and this is for if you dye your hair a lot or get it highlighted or just use a lot of heat on it and it really is uh, not doing so well with it. It helps kind of reconstruct it, and I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, how does it reconstruct it to like, glue your hair back together? No, I think it just kind of helps to put nourishment back into it, especially like your ends uh, really need that. The only way to get rid of split ends is to chop them off. I'm sorry, that's the truth. There's no, like, cream that's going to help you. At least I don't think. I'm pretty positive. I don't know how that would work. Uh, I don't know. So I guess really just nourishment. And I really like this stuff. It smells really good. It's not just for blondes. I'm a brunette, if you can't tell. If you can't tell, then check your eyes, <laughs> I guess. Um... So, yeah, that's my favorite. My other favorite is the uh, Brunette Goddess because I'm a brunette. I really like this. I kind of like to switch back and forth sometimes. Or also, this is a little bit smaller than the other one. Uh, this I use a lot when I travel because it smells so good. And it's for brunettes. This, blondes, and, br and like redheads, probably can't use. I guess you could. But this is really nice. It smells like Rice Krispie Bars. Yeah, it smells really good. Um, another thing that I like to use in the shower is this 3-Minute Miracle. This is by Aussie. This deep conditions your hair. It kind of goes along with the Dumb Blonde, where it kind of helps to reconstruct. That's really good if you use heat on your hair or whatever you do. I think it's really nice because it helps get moisture on your hair. I'm not even kidding you. It's so soft when you put that in. You put it in for three minutes. It smells really tropical. Like, it, it, and it just smells fresh and really good. And I love those kind of products. Like, you can't, I can't describe the smell, but just go smell it. It's not expensive. I bought it at my drugstore. I want to say it's like three or four dollars. It's not a lot at all. And so I definitely think that's something. If you haven't tried it, go try it. Because, I don't know, it's awesome. It's a, There's a funny thing on the back. I don't. I can't even remember it right now. I don't feel like reading it. But, yeah, good stuff. Try it out. Um, I have a little bit of cold. Excuse me. When I get out of the shower, I like to use the uh, Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum. I call it Skinny Hair Gel in the house because that's what my stylist, Janet, calls it. Um, and, yeah, my mom's addicted to this, and so am I. I really like it. I'm sorry if you heard that door slam. That would be my sister. She's watching a movie. Obviously, I'm talking too loud. I apologize to her. Um, this, I love this stuff. It helps, like, smooth down your hair, fights frizz, uh, and makes it nice and shiny. I couldn't imagine doing my hair without this. You put it on when you get out of the shower to your ends, like your ponytail area. Uh, don't put it up here. Your hair will get greasy, I promise you. And you don't need a lot. You just kind of need, like, a pump. And you just kind of massage it and run it through. And it's really nice. It smells pretty good. Again, it kind of smells fresh. I really like Paul Mitchell stuff, which kind of goes with my next thing. This is my heat protectant. Uh, this is the Hot Off the Press, also by Paul Mitchell. I really like them. I used to use their shampoos all the time, um, like 24 cents when I was younger. But then I found Bedhead, and I fell in love with it. So, yes, that stuff is really nice. You need, you need, you need, you need to use your protectant, everybody out there, especially for doing heat on your hair every day. Maybe if you do your hair, like, once in a millennium, uh, you could probably get away with it. Even that it's not very good for your hair, uh, you really need to use it because it just helps protect it, and then you don't have to go get split ends chopped up. And there's a hair right here. There we go. Um... So, yes, definitely a good product. I love the smell of it. I like the smell of a lot of my hair products. This is also heat protectant. This is, but this is for blow drying. This has got to 
the Guardian Angel, uh, their blowout lotion, and a uh, big misconception, I think, is that you don't need to use heat protectant when you're blow drying, but if you're using a heat setting on your blow dryer, it can still dry out your hair and give you split ends and, I don't know, make your ends all scraggly, just the same as straightening it with a straightener or a curling iron or whatever. Um, so definitely use that. Speaking of curling irons, my favorite curling iron is this one. This is a one inch by Hot Tools. I really, really like these curling irons. I haven't had much experience with other curling irons because a lot of times, when I, especially when I was younger, I would just use my mom. And she's always used Hot Tools. And so I guess I just started using that. And so when I try and use other people's, it just doesn't like, it, it doesn't feel right. And so those are kind of expensive. Actually, they're really expensive, but they last forever. Where if you buy, like, the $15 ones, I mean, they'll last for a bit. But they won't heat up as well. So definitely, if you're looking to invest, buy those. I really like them. I think you can get them at Ulta. Most of the stuff you can get at Ulta. It's not everything. Actually, I think everything in this video. You can get at Ulta. So moving on, this is a bedhead manipulator. It is this kind of blue gunk. Let me show you. Yum. Yum. No, not exactly. It's uh, really nice. It doesn't really have much of a smell to it, but I really like it. What you do is you just take a little bit and you can smooth down like baby hairs that are up here or on the top of your head. Or if you have a pix pixie cut, pixie cut. And you got like a little bit of a cowlick in the back or just a random hair that doesn't want to cooperate whatever it's really nice I think that that's kind of something that you just want to have in your hair kit just for one of those days you can get the big ones like my stylist has a big one or I just have a little one because I don't use it every day but I use it a lot um, so that's definitely a favorite I really like cheese silk infusion this is a little baby bottle this stuff is really nice um, it kind of smells like Abercrombie so, maybe if you don't like Abercrombie, don't try it. Like, if you don't like their smell, or you don't want to smell like Abercrombie. I don't really care. I only use it on days that I straighten my hair, usually. And I just feel like it needs that little umph to kind of be extra silky and pretty. Or it's just kind of a bad hair day. I really like that because it just kind of make, it makes me feel good. makes me feel good. Um, my last thing is my hair brush. This is by Bedhead. It's the pink one. There's also a purple one, I think, at Ulta. At my Ulta. Actually, I don't even know if they're carrying this anymore. I was in there one couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago with my friend. And I was looking for this. I, they had the purple one, but they didn't have the pink one. So maybe they were just sold out. But again, by Bedhead. This is like great. Oh, it's upside down. Right there. It's a really nice brush. The only thing I don't like is it kind of makes your hair staticky, so especially in the winter, um, you may not want to be brushing your hair a hundred times. Uh, for the people that do that, I don't do that. I just kind of run it through my hair if it needs to be kind of smoothed out, or when I'm straightening it, I'll like pull the straightener down and have the brush um, after it. So yeah, those are my favorite hair products. If you have any video requests, uh, put them in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!